introduce myself. My name is Alfiana Rosida. I come from English Education Department 3 with my ID number T2019-6133. Okay, here I will present you about causative variable in second language acquisition. Okay, do you know what is causative variable in second language acquisition? Okay, I'll explain it. The causative variable in second language acquisition is a conferenceable input and strain of the filter. People acquire a second language when they obtain comprehensible input and, they, and they, when their effective filter cell low enough to allow the input into the language acquisition device. For the first one, I will present you about the causative variable itself. Okay, the causative variable itself um, is a form of verb that makes our state a cause. And causative itself is used when arranging for someone to do something for us. Okay, for example, from causative is the worker widen the road. This word, the word widen. Here, uh, here is the causative because it has the meaning of making the road wide. Okay, here we know the the acquisition more important than learning. Okay, we know about it. In order, the acquire has to condition are necessary. For the first one is comprehensible structure a bit beyond the acquire current level. For the second one is effective filter to allow the input in. We have gotten that the acquisition more important than learning. And now we will discuss next about the second point is uh, actually language teaching. Does it help for us? This is asked for you. Here there are two conditions we will discuss. When language teaching help and when language teaching that teaching not does not help. Okay, actually language teaching cer certainly can help the important function is to supply comprehensible input for those who can not get it as anywhere this constraint by their situation for example foreign language students who do not have input search outside the class or by their competence those unable to understand and the language of the outside world Okay, for the third one, we will discuss about uh, exposure variable. Okay, exposure variable, uh, I think I will explain you, is the act of making language readily available and accessible, accessible during the critical period for language acquisition. All the exposure to language enable the brain to fully develop cognitive and linguistic skill as well as language fluency and comprehension later in life. An exposure variable that has been studied is reported use of the second language. Okay, for the next, I uh, will discuss for the fourth point is about age. Age is a predictor of second language proficiency that younger acquire are better at second language acquisition than older acquires. Okay, this point, I will three point. Adult, the first, adult process of the student stage of second language development faster than children do, where time and exposure are held constant. For the second point is, older children acquire faster than younger children. Time and exposure held constant. For the third is acquire who begin natural exposure to second language during childhood generally achieve higher second language proficiency and then don't those beginning as adult. Okay, it is not simply the case that younger is better. Adults have means of producing language early of beating the silent period means this means that having nothing to do with natural language acquisition but not may nevertheless help them participate in conversation and hence obtain calm 
and hence obtain comprehensible input. And then for the last, we will discuss about the fourth point is about acculturation. Acculturation itself is the process of two culture blending, generally seen when an immigrant or min minority culture acclimates with the dominant culture. Second language acquisition is just one aspect of acculturation and the degree to which the learner acculturates to the target language group will control the degree to which he acquires the target language. The acculturation hypothesis has considerable merit. It may be the case that acculturation is the most effective way of lowering the effective filter and getting input for immigrant and long-term visitors. Okay, I think enough from me, my explanation. I hope it's useful for you. Okay, the last for me. See you next time.